What is going on YouTube? Foxy Coach KST with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're using the brand new AN94 in Warzone. And I'm going to tell you guys, this thing can be a knee slapper. It's a little inconsistent though. I don't know. I don't know if it's just the hit detection in this game or if it's just the inconsistency of the weapon. If you put these attachments on it, it'll be insanely overpowered. It'll be pretty good and it'll shred some kids. I'm not even gonna lie. I ran it with the MP5 in the back pocket and it was pretty good. We won a game, all that good stuff. So all the attachments for the AN94 will be at the end of the video. So make sure you guys go check that out. If you guys do enjoy this video and you guys want to support me even further, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys go follow me on my Twitch. That'll be in the description below. We stream every single day over there at night around like 8 p.m. Eastern time. So we stream daily over there and on YouTube. So we're gonna use the ISO next, the new SMG. We we'll use that in the next video. Honestly, I really like that weapon. I don't know about you guys. A lot of people don't like it, but I like that weapon. So we're going to use that in the next video. So yeah, without further ado, let's go, bros. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. We got the glitch. Oh, no. I've actually never gotten this before. But uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, God. That's actually awful. We might call in a loadout so I can grab a different gun. And I hope it doesn't do it. Oh, God. Please don't push me. I mean, well, no, I got MP5, but like... um. Yeah, uh, dude, why? Oh, looks like I'm using an MP5 this game. Dude. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. is he doing yeah there should be that option to customize your gun the way you want to if i feel like running a smoke grenade launcher at one point i'm gonna run a smoke grenade launcher i should have the option to do that that's what i love about gunsmith is that there's so many ways you can build your gun there is a standard as to what that what attachments you should run you don't have to always use them you can do what fits your play style or what is comfortable to you if they take that away it's just like taking away some customization man and i don't like that i don't i like customization in my video games that's one of the things that i really can appreciate about this game and like i don't want to go back to pick 10. i really don't want to go back to pick 10. That, that's that's the last thing i want to do it's so lame i don't like it's it's it limits your customization pick 10 is cool for competitive but when you're playing pubs i want to be able i don't want to have to like click that whole skill based matchmaking thing like i don't want to i don't want it to sweat all the time then i don't want to have my class limited you know Best thing in Warzone is the gunsmith and the and the the gulag. I love the gulag, but there's certain gulags that I hate. The sniper gulag was terrible. Because kids just sit in the back of the back of the spawn and they don't move. That's annoying as hell. I mean, it requires some skill to get a kill with a sniper, but it doesn't require any skill to sit in the back of the gulag and hard scope waiting for someone to come around a corner. Silence. Alrighty. I mean, we can get another loady, but I don't. I'll wait for the other one to come through. I'll wait for this to come through. We'll grab. We'll grab ghosts. You miss my shipment videos. You mean my daily order videos? More over two. Yeah, good times, man. So he just bought that. I'm actually, I'm actually really curious if this, if this guy's gonna come for it. No, he's flying. He's by the car. He drove off. Had to wait that out. I wasn't gonna risk getting hit by a car, you know. I'm actually gonna try and grab a couple UAVs. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and, pu I'm, I'm not gonna try and push him unless I know I can kill him. He's just like running. Yeah, see, he sees me. He knows. He's gonna probably gonna get run over. Yeah, he got in the car. Not gonna worry about him. You run around like this and stuff. Like you kind of have to really check your surroundings now because of uh kind of want to pick up this bounty, but then again, far away is this? Yeah, it's a lumber. Yeah, like I said, it's a it's a lumber MP5 circle. I mean lumber farmland circle, not MP not MP5. I was pulling out my MP5 when I said that. <laughs>
Nice. Get a Bruin and something else. I don't know what the other gun was. I'm gonna try and wrap hard left. See if I can get up on some, uh, some high ground here. No shot. Did not expect him to reach out like that. That was that was ballsy. I'm glad I pulled out my MP5 though. That's why you run amped because I have I would not have pulled that out fast enough if I had anything except amped on. So that's that's one of the main reasons I run amped is because you swap weapons faster. And then that's why I also have a very like fast ADS on this uh on this MP5. He was like, and like I said, he was a bullet. So I was really surprised. Like I didn't expect him to. I didn't expect him to reach out like that because he was so weak. I broke his armor and hit him a couple times. So, Put that all the way over there. Oh, no, that's a smoke. Thought I saw that. I was like, "Yo, is that a guy?" <laughs> but he was on my heartbeat anyway. So right, we kind of have the we kind of have the edge of the circle circle right here. We could get up there. That would be super clutch. I don't see anything over here, but you never know, bro. Oh, that's right. We're going into lumber, which means like there's buildings and stuff over there. Probably should have bought a UAV, but there's a loadout somewhere over there. There's so many trees in here, bro. You know, there's a dude sitting over here. Kind of why I'm like going around here. I want to find him. <laughs> there's way too many bushes and stuff like that over here. I don't like this. I mean, it drove all the way over here. Well, someone just died to a rocket launcher. Only ten remain standing. All right. Sorry That's if I'm not talking a bunch. I'm kind of like concentrating. It's never good when it's in the woods. It's never good. I, I'm because I people always blend in with one another. It's just never good. But we're gonna we're gonna keep trying. We keep going. We're gonna kind of keep moving. That's why I want to kind of take this high ground right here. Because I mean, if you can get high ground on this. That's a GG, bro. Yes. Guy in there. Contact. Sounds good to me, buddy. We're gonna have to wrap this way. I don't like this feeling that like no one's to my right. Good positioning at the moment. Astrid with a ride field. Let me get some GGs. Let me get some nice in the chat. Let me get a nice spam in the chat. Nice. All right, so the attachments that I'm running on the AN94 are the monolithic suppressor, the AN94 Factory X438 millimeter barrel. It's got the highest damage range. Gives a real pack a punch. The VLK three times optic. There's a new, there's a new thermal sight with this gun. Someone told me to use it, and I really don't like it. I think it's garbage, honestly. There is a new uh, like thermal sight that you could use that you could try out. I just ran into a lot of people cold blooded, and it's just it doesn't work in my opinion. You'd be better off running the VLK three times optic, and then commando foregrip and the 60 round casket mags. Whenever we get to tier 100, I'll make a video on that blueprint as well because those have the the black trace arounds or the shadow trace arounds. So I'm really excited for those. Let me know what you guys want me to use next in Warzone. Make sure you guys can follow me on my Twitch as well. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.